But the currents and the waves not only cause concerns for drownings, but erosion as well. This natural process happens when strong waves crash against the shoreline, moving ground and beach material away from the beach to greater water depths. This has been an ongoing issue, impacting homes right on the water, many even in danger of being washed away as we saw happen in 2020. Water levels can have an impact on the severity of the erosion, but those levels fluctuate along the more than 3,000 miles of Lake Michigan coastline. A record low was set in 2013 at just over 576 feet, and a record high was set in 2020 at just over 581 feet, with levels currently near average this year. High water levels put homes along the shore at greater risk, causing erosion, flooding, and property damage, while low water levels could have an impact on commercial shipping, water recreation, and hydropower. We can help to mitigate some erosion by maintaining shoreline vegetation and building rock retaining walls to absorb the wave energy. From your own backyard to blueberry fields, tending to a garden is no easy task. And coming up, how one to two inches of rain a week are necessary to water all 100 acres of Bowerman blueberries as we dive into the importance of weather, water, and Lake Michigan for local farms.